Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Suzanne. Today's video is going to be on this look right here. It's very simple, very easy. Uh, this is like my day glam um, for the winter. I'm using some new stuff to me, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this look. Uh, if you wanna see how I got this look, just keep on watching. So I'm going to prime my skin first, and I got this vitamin enriched face base uh, from Bobbi Brown. I've never used this. I always hear things about it. So today I'm going to be using this. It comes in a jar, which I'm not really a big fan of. So I'm going to take a little bit. It looks like a moisturizer to me. It's hydrated and it's not like sitting on top of my skin, which is a bonus for foundation. Looks good. Feels good. Smells good. This is a drugstore foundation. This is from Marcel Cosmetics and the Extreme Last um, line. And I believe this is in the shade Natural Beige. So it comes in a squeezy tube and I think it is going to be dark. So I'm just going to take a little bit first. It does claim for its lightweight foundation that perfects skin and leaves soft matte finish that lasts as long as your day. Reduces the appearance of pores, enriched with vitamin E. I'm going to be using a uh, brush with this. Today's brush is going to be the Sephora Collection Pro Diffuser 64. I, re I really like this. As you can see, it's going to be a little bit dark on my skin. Actually not so bad. It just looks more yellow on my hand. Okay. It looks good. I'm just gonna do half of my face so you can actually see what it covers. does have a nice coverage it's probably I would say medium foundation and this is no foundation we'll see and we're gonna do the same thing here So I picked up a new concealer yesterday from Hourglass and this is the Vanish uh, Airbrush Concealer and my shade is Cedar and it comes in a beautiful packaging like their um, lip glosses if you have that. Um, so I heard it's a full coverage concealer. They had about 20 shades or so. So I'm going to be applying this under my eyes and you know the center of my face as well. A little bit looks very full coverage just like that i'm gonna drag it down a little bit so we're gonna blend this blend it so nicely and it's very full coverage for sure That is full coverage. I probably need it less than this, but that's okay. Um, it's very, very nice. I never liked their Vanish foundation, the liquid version. Uh, it, it was so cakey, so heavy on my face. I tried it twice and I'm like you know what no this is not gonna happen I'm gonna blend it on my eyelids as well since I have a little bit more left on my blender I'm going to go to my Charlotte Tilbury uh, airbrush flawless finish uh, powder and this is in the shade 
one, which is fair. I'm going to take a um, just a sponge that I was using. For a, the rest of the face, uh, I feel like I need to set it a bit. It's not like matte or anything on my face. Uh, I don't know if it's because of the uh, Bobbi Brown primer that I applied and it was still hydrating. So the foundation is not like setting to a matte finish. I'm going to be using this new to me as well. This is the Marcel Cosmetics Flawless Extreme Last uh, Collection. And this is a translucent setting powder. And it's pressed, which I do like. I most of my translucent powders are loose powders, so I'm, I don't have anything like this. So I'm gonna take a big brush, then I'm just gonna set the rest of my face. I'm going to be using this Too Faced palette, and this is uh, the Natural Face palette. I'm going to be using this matte bronzer, and I'm just gonna warm up my skin. To bronze my neck. And a little bit on the nose. I don't contour. I'm just gonna bronze it like so. I'm going to take the shimmery bronzer as well. It's really nice and very warm. And it's not like shimmery shimmery, it has a sheen to it, so it's really, really nice. Especially for the winter time, like you need a little bit of a glowy complexion. So for my highlighter, I'm going to be using this cookie from Benefit. I finally got this because everybody was raving about it and I picked it up just before Christmas time. I should have picked it up before when I had the um, discount, but it's okay. It's really, really beautiful. Very nice. I, I hope that they come out with like a more of a golden shade too. We're just gonna blow everywhere. So I'm gonna mix those two shades for my blush today. Moving to the eyes, I am not too sure which palette to use today. Um, I'm probably going to be going back and forth. I will probably use the Huda Beauty one today. And this is the light nude one. So I'm gonna take this shade first. And I'm just going for a very natural look today. I just apply this one in the crease, just like that. Okay, the next shade is going to be this beautiful chocolatey brown color. It's very beautiful actually, I really like these shades. I'm going to take it just on the outer corner first. And I'm going to drag it to the inner part of my eye. Just like that. Nothing crazy, just blend, blend, blend. Okay, so I'm just gonna deposit a little bit more on the outer corner just by tapping. There, this is Accent Brush by Real Technique. I'm going to take this dark brown and I'm 
going to smudge it underneath my eyes. I'm going to take this beautiful color here and it's very very nice it's very metallic like I love those small palettes from Huda like they are very pigmented so I'm going to be using a new uh, brow gel mascara from Anastasia and this is in the shade dark brown I've never used these tinted ones I used her um, first one which was a clear version um, I did get them tattooed um, which I really like them so I'm just going to use this mascara just to kind of give me a little bit of volume and put them in place oh I do like that very easy a gel and color at the same time so if you have nice brows you just need this you don't need the brow pencil so these are the Fox show from Lash Wish these are very 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 natural look at that we are almost done I'm going to highlight my inner corners, my favorite highlighter at the moment, and it's been for a while now. Uh, it's the Artist Couture Highlighters, and this is in the shade uh, Cocoa Blink. This is Diamond Glow Powders. This is the lightest shade, I believe, and I love it so much. I'm going to take a brush, a tiny brush, and I'm just going to... Put that in the inner corner right here. It just gives you the most beautiful, glowy inner corners ever. Um, and I do use it for my highlight as well. But it's crazy glowy, so I'm not going to do that today. Um, I have enough glow from Cookie by Benefit. and But this is my favorite like part. It just makes your eyes look very healthy and glowy and I adore this shade. For my lips today I am going to apply this lip injection by Too Faced and this is a gloss in the shade Bubblegum Yum. This is from MAC, uh, the shade is Tres Blasi 404.